Good morning, folks. The incoming northern quadrant from limb to turning sunspots is getting fun to watch. Plasma surges, small x-ray flares. The one thing standing in the way of a detailed multi-wavelength analysis is the SDO flip performed last night, causing some jumpiness to the data. You're going to see that on solar sequences for the next couple days, but let's get right to it at spaceweathernews.com and do our best to parse out activity in 193 angstroms. Despite the jumps in frame, we can tell it's not the south we're interested in, it's the north. That's where the big filament is incoming, where all the sunspots are, and that's where the eruptive activity can be found. In fact, that limb filament is erupting right now. Eyes on the explosion today. Solar flaring finally got into C-class range, and while improvement is improvement, it's still 10 times too weak to be of concern. But it's being produced as the sunspot number surges with magnetism of the sunspots that is actually capable of larger X-ray events. Years ago, these would be making M and X-class flares without any issue, but now they succumb to the Earth-facing solar quiet effect. Solar wind here. Very calm, not much else to say, except that when the stream impacts that we expect as early as tonight or tomorrow, it will show up nice and clearly on otherwise calm data. Coronal holes directly facing Earth. Our disaster app scoring indeed shows a rise here, but it is much smaller than our previous watch scores you can see on the left, two-week chart. It's because of their size. We've maxed on positioning score, but these are just smaller. Regardless, an earthquake uptick was expected, and boy, it's trying, I'll give them that. 5.8 in Mexico that hit 6 range on a number of readers. Same thing happened in Papua New Guinea, where multiple 6 magnitude readings were downgraded to 5.6. Argentina with potential foreshocks as well. Eyes open for more. Speaking of quakes, we now have enough data from Stanford to say that the March 2, 2016 Sumatra quake was indeed at a negative peak of the total solar polar field magnetism north and south combined. A negative peak not matched in almost 15 years. And something tells me the northern peak is going to end up being right around the Japan and Ecuador disasters from this month. Speaking of disasters, weather in the U.S. kept punishing. This time the tornadoes came as well and the damage is fairly widespread. Hail that could kill you, flooding that seems like it has a mind of its own. Weather Channel and The Lift providing excellent compilations of all the videos posted online last night. Just look at the hail. Welcome to the future. For website members over at suspiciousobservers.org, your latest episode of Deeper Look is out, Electric Strings of the Universe, based on the conversation we started this past weekend on the Fly on the Wall podcast. We've got current global conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 425 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.